Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. And you join me here today on what's been quite a grey, slightly moody day actually. We had a big storm in the night, bit, lots of thunder, lots of rain. And uh, still not too bad though, I thought I'd come up here anyway and uh, got a few things done and of course everything's really starting to, to uh, sort of pop up now so uh, we're really entering you know we're now at the start of May and we're really entering the busy sort of few months here at the plots but uh, while that's all very interesting I'm sure you didn't tune in to hear about any of that uh, at all actually um, you tuned in to hear about some whiskey of course and uh, what is the allotment dram today I hear you ask well uh, I thought I'd do something a little bit different today actually rather than just talk about uh, uh, sort of regular bottling as uh, sort of normally do and uh, I'm actually going to talk about uh, a new monthly whiskey subscription uh, service from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society it's called Drop and Dram and uh, this is exclusive to the UK actually uh, this came through the post so you know quite quite handy came through the post and um, yeah what this is is an initiative by Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. It launched back in sort of uh, end of November last year. So this is actually the fourth set and I'll talk a little bit more about that. It comes out once a month and uh, it's really aimed at uh, whiskey enthusiasts who want to explore uh, different flavours and uh, it costs £45 a month and you basically it's not like a regular subscription where you pay a big amount of money and then you get it's sort of month after month. You can actually pick and choose when you want it. So it's £45 each month. You take a look at whatever the selection of whiskies are and you choose whether you want it. But uh, each month has a different theme. And if you take out the, the this sort of uh, £45 for the month and you get the pack, it also uh, gains you temporary membership to the uh, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society for that month so that's pretty cool because what that does it gives you access to their venues so there's four in the UK you've got uh, the original one up in Leith uh, you've got Edinburgh you've got Glasgow and then you've got the one down here in London in Greville Street and it also enables you to purchase 70 CL bottles and it also allows you to attend any SMWS Scotch Malt Whiskey Society events that are happening within that uh, month so that's pretty cool you know rather than taking out the annual membership uh, you know which is not for everyone and you know is, is a little bit expensive uh, you could do it this way and pick and choose your months and then off you go and you have all these benefits as well plus you also have some very nice whiskies because what you have in the pack here is I'll just show you so this one is pack number four which is called uh, Drams Without Borders and as I said each one has a different theme but I, I've basically got uh, so just here you see you get three uh, bottlings so these actually come these are all 5cl or 50 milliliters these are all cast strength and they all come from their sort of you know Scotch Malt Whiskey Society have got a vast portfolio you know, over 180 odd distilleries, you know, mostly from Scotland, but also from uh, elsewhere. You know, there's some American ones, uh, there's an English one in here, and you know, whiskies from all around the world actually now. And uh, you also get a little set of cards with some tasting notes, and you also get a little sort of thing to uh, write some notes on. But also, you get access to there's a QR code uh, in here somewhere. There we are, on the back of the Drams Without Borders card. So you scan that, and that will take you through to exclusive videos where you've got people talking about these specific whiskies. So uh, in this one in particular, uh, we've got, uh, so the three whiskies, we've got uh, 39.284, which is called Push Pineapple Shaker B. And I'll explain about the numbering system for Scotch Malt Whiskey Society just in a second. And then I've got 55.85 called Passionate Desire. And then I've got 137.20, which is called Potted Shrimp and Salmon Terrine. So uh, Speyside, 
uh, Highlands and English. So they don't tell you the distilleries and this is part of the beauty or depends on your outlook in life, the frustration of Scots Malt Whiskey Society is that they don't tell you the distillery. They'll tell you the region, so in this case, Speyside, Highlands and England, uh, but they won't tell you the distillery. Uh, the distillery is the first number. So distillery 39 uh, is in Speyside, distillery 55 is in uh, Highlands and distillery 137 is in England. But that's all they'll tell you. And then the second number, so 39.284, this is the 284th bottling that uh, the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society have done uh, from this distillery number 39. This is 55.85, so it's the 85th bottling, the 85th cask that they've bottled from distillery number 55 in the Highlands, and so on and so on. So you'll see these two numbers something point something and the first number being the distillery uh, that's their own personal code for the distillery and the second one being the number of casts that they bottled from that distillery so that makes sense and uh, also they give it you know a quite nice sort of creative name as well so yeah been doing that for sort of 40 years now you know and this was actually launched as part of their 40th anniversary you know which it started in edinburgh in 1983 so i'm actually going to taste one of them otherwise i'll be here all day and uh, bore you to death if i sat here and tasted all three of them but i'm actually going to taste uh, the 39.284 which is push pineapple shaker b uh, so uh, we'll just uh, pop the rest of this down for safekeeping and then we'll take a look at this so uh, what does this tell me uh, so just looking at the at the uh, details here it was distilled is 5th of December 2011 it's been maturing in a first fill ex bourbon barrel uh, for all of that time and it's from the Speyside region as I said before and 62.1% uh, alcohol so yeah pretty uh, pretty punchy actually so uh, let's have a smell and a taste see what we've got here for this uh, uh, what is it 39.284 from the drop and dram there we are just uh, pop this down somewhere it smells very good initially I, I have to say it's literally sort of rising up out of the, the glass very fresh very vibrant quite luscious actually lots of vanilla there's some vanilla toffee there's some, some desiccated coconut a bit of lemon uh, lemon zest and also sort of like grassy like quite sort of freshly cut grass or like hay meadow something like that and a little bit of sort of white chocolate maybe a bit of milk chocolate as well in there yeah, very very enticing. Let's have a let's have a taste. Mmm. Gosh, that's my type of whiskey. I do love Speyside single malts in first fill bourbon casks. It's something it's just very clean, very flavoursome quite crisp this one obviously the strength is 62.1 so it's it's pretty punchy but it actually drinks very nicely for that strength but yeah you've got all this lots of vanilla lots of this uh, desiccated co dried coconut and also quite uh, almost like freshly sawn oak so like the sawdust almost literally as soon as you've sawn it and yeah definitely some white chocolate in there I'm getting it the oakiness really dries it sort of on the side of the mouth but I'm gonna have another taste I think we should do that cheers mmm it's almost like a little almondy sort of marzipan type thing and then some tropical fruit just sitting in the back very very delicious actually I have to say and what a great example of you know being able to try these things because you know the the full bottles you know can be quite expensive so you know 
buying something like this, you know, the same as, you know, a regular core range bottling, 45 pounds a month. You know, I'd say this is pretty good value to really give you a different dimension to your sort of whiskey collection and your whiskey tasting experience, I would say. Um, but yeah, very, very nice. So 39.284 Push Pineapple Shaker B. I can hi highly recommend that. Uh, absolutely delicious, quite creamy sort of towards the end as it sort of mixes with the saliva in your mouth. Yeah, very, very nice. But yes, that's uh, Drop and Dram. Take a look on the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society uh, website. As I say, it's only available in the UK, unfortunately, so if you are watching elsewhere, you might have to wait until it's bought out in your, in your region. But uh, yeah, if you're in the UK, I would highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, very easy, came through the post, you know, very interactive with the, the sort of QR code in the videos and you know, just given us three really lovely whiskies to, to, to try actually. Um, so probably without uh, further ado, I should probably let you get on with whatever you were doing uh, before you stumbled upon this video and uh, we'll hopefully see you again for another allotment dram very soon. Cheers. <laughs>